Hello there. This is Vitriol's a chess noob learning and having fun with chess. Today we're going on a king hunt and I think you'd like it. Out of the Vienna game as usual. So e4, e5, knight c3. My opponent played the fork beer and of course f4. Vienna Gambit, the Mozart of chess openings. <laughs> now Black decides to decline the Vienna Gambit with d6, which is fine, you know, this is fine, I suppose. Uh, and certainly it's the best way to decline the Vienna Gambit other than playing the main line, which is the best move for Black. Now against this, knight forward, potentially looking at the third pawn in the center. However, they immediately decided to play this aggressive bishop to g4, ostensibly pinning the knight to the queen. Now, against this, the move to know is to immediately ask the question, what exactly is the bishop doing there? Now, because if black decides to get, you know, a little bit ambivalent about why they place the bishop on that square and go to h4, you immediately get a big attack because you attack the bishop again and now the bishop is trapped. Very, very nice. Now, here though, my opponent recognized that they needed to commit. And that's the thing when you play this particular move, bishop to g4, you have to commit, you have to be willing to take, and they did. And that is the right move. Captures, captures. Black is potentially okay here, but you know, white is definitely doing fine. So here I've got no problems with my position. Queen is in a nice square, you know, two squares away from an enemy knight. I've traded a knight for a bishop. That's usually a, usually a fine thing. So chess continues. They now develop uh, another pawn, which is a bit slow. So this wasn't this was an inaccuracy according to Stockfish. It's about plus one now. Stockfish really suggested that they needed to develop their pieces. I developed my bishop to c4, staring at the f7 square. And part of the Vienna gambit, especially if Black decides to castle short, is to hunt the king. A rapid forthright attack on the black king's position. Now they develop the bishops, so it looks like they are going to castle that way. I castle, queen and rook already in a battery down the f-file, very very nice. They short castles, let's open up that f-file, very good. Captures back and now I develop my diagonal and that's what cuts the board in two. And notice that you know black's pieces potentially get trapped onto the queen side, onto this side of the board, and that allows me to move my pieces into the attack, funneling in into the black king. They try to attack down the queen side. Now that's again potentially okay, but it's not the most accurate and it doesn't really work because queen back, uh, sort of bishop back, they push another pawn, I push that up, and here you can see that was a mistake because it just gives me time. Uh, because you know, these shenanigans in the queen side, these queen side antics, I don't care about those because my attack is on this side. In fact, I could potentially even lose some pieces, you know, maybe the rooks and pawns here. It doesn't matter. My king's not there. My attack is on the king side and I'm probably going to be a little bit faster. So Knight now rotates into the attack, and that's what I wanted. So that's why that was a mistake. They develop a piece, knight forward again. They try to attack the queen, as uh, the queen, the bishop. Again, I'm not worried about these queen side antics. Move forward again. Stockfish thinks I should rescue the bishop. I don't think I need to. Captures, captures, and now I've got one, two, three, four pieces ready for the attack and black is a bit discoordinated. So this bishop comes out for a check, doesn't really achieve much, my king just sidesteps that, and now they realize their king is, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit tender. I decide to play queen g3, immediately looking at a, a mate threat. You can see that Stockfish calls this a mistake, and the reason for that is there's a very tricky, more direct attack which is the knight can just straight up take the g7 pawn. So knight takes, and if the king takes back, we now have this really awesome move, the bishop to g5, and basically there's an impending royal fork. 
uh, it's really difficult for black to navigate this. So if the king sort of moves out of the way, and of course, you know, with this now open, the queen and these rooks, whoops, uh, this rook and this rook can potentially now really infiltrate into their position and are pretty much winning. Now, I didn't see that move, in, uh, and so I played queen to g3. I thought that was fine. Immediate mate threat uh, causes problems often for black. You can see uh, black decided to defend that pawn with a rook move. But look at this poor king. It has no room to move, completely stuck on h8. That's not a good position for the king to be in when there's an opponent knight roaming around. This is potentially, you know, smothered mate territory. I now bring bishop to g5. I see that move. Uh, and of course, this now pins black's uh, knight, pretty much their only defending piece other than the pawns, into place. This is not good for black. King Hunt is now well underway. They try to counterattack um, the bishop, but that's a mistake. And this mistake, in fact, is a plus six mistake. Can you see why? The knight can straight up take that pawn. It is not being defended by that pawn. Uh, why? Because if they capture the knight, that is now once again a royal fork, completely devastating, and there's an open space there. So real, real problems for uh, real, real problems for black. All right. So here I take. They decide to move the uh, move the rook out of the way. I bring my knight back, uh, and here they slide the rook back, and black opted to resign. Now, this was a 10 minute uh, plus five second, imitant, uh, five second increment Lee Chess rapid game. Why did they resign? Emotional damage. Well, they're about to lose a queen because I've now have queen to h4, pretty much they must do this. Uh, or I suppose they could do that to prevent mate. Either way, uh, I now can take the queen completely winning, that's pinned, good game, and <laughs> GG. My big takeaway from this game is a simple strategy in this opening. Hunt the Black King if they castle short against your Vienna Gambit. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.